You might have seen in the news that hackers have compromised the Linux Mint ISO file. Now this happened on Saturday, February the 20th. Now this only happened for one day and was picked up quite quickly by the Linux Mint team. So they've compromised the Linux Mint 17.3 Cinnamon Edition. Now this only affects anyone who had downloaded the ISO file from the website. If you downloaded it from the torrent file, then no, it doesn't affect that. So it picked up really quickly. I wonder if it had anything to do with the hackers failing to match the MD5 hash sums. Quite likely. And unfortunately it gets worse for the team because uh, the forums have also been compromised. So all pass usernames and passwords have now been lifted from the website and are up for sale. Up for sale for a whole $85 or some small fraction of a bitcoin. I can't remember what it was now because I was looking around at various news articles. So at time of recording on the 21st of February, the Linux Mint website is down. No doubt Clement Lefebvre and the rest of the team are trying to sort the website out. The reason for the compromise was from a WordPress plugin. Hmm. How many times do I hear WordPress being the source of the issues for hackers getting into websites? Now it seems to be either like SQL injections or cross-site scripting attacks I read about. But yeah, the third most popular, WordPress. Great. Oh, well, it's keeping me in business. I can't complain too much. So there's a bit of a write-up here on Softpedia, although they get the name of the virus wrong. So the file that's been lifted is called man.cy. Now this was left in the var slash lib folder. You can check out your system. Command I've just used, I'm just showing this in terminal, but you can get to it other ways through the GUI. You can navigate to the var slash lib and looking for files starting with M. I have man-db, that is not the file, we're looking for man.cy. So a normal Linux system will not have that file. If you happen to have that file on your Linux Mint system, then you need to trash it and get rid of it. Just back up your documents and reinstall with a fresh new ISO file. I think some of the advice is to stop using the system immediately, but I'm not so sure because from what I'm reading, the virus that's been used is a denial of service tool. It's to make a system take part in a distributed denial of service attack. So the other option is just to disconnect your internet. Because if you do that, you could carry on using the system and not be affected. But then of course you've got to go and download a new file, haven't you? So yes, go and download a new file, but don't make too much use of the operating system. Anyway, this was the tool that was used, katon.c. It's pretty old. Pretty damn old. 2001, I think it was. Let's take a little look. This is the malicious file that was added on the left-hand side, and this is the original virus on the right-hand side. First off, you'll notice a lot of the comments have been left in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and then we just scroll down a bit, you'll see the similarities. So, first function, str world match. Yep. Send. Yeah, that's there. Scroll down a bit further. Long get spoof, yeah, long get spoof, yeah, so basically it's um, the same code, nothing much done to it. All to take part in a distributed denial of service attack. Was that the whole intention of it? It does appear to be. So who are the culprits? NSA, GCHQ, Script Kiddies? I'm going for the Script Kiddies option, because this is a pretty poor effort to attack. Why would you leave the comments in there? Why would you leave such an obvious file in there? Why would they have failed to change the hash sums? These are all things that are very easily doable. And the fact it's such an obvious file and not say like a root kit embedded in the kernel and standard tools that have been changed, then that would be the level of NSA GCHQ where it would be absolutely hidden away, almost impossible to spot and be left there for many years Versus this being the script kiddie, which was found straight away and has comments written all over a very ob obvious file. Well, that's my theory. It's not that hard to compromise a WordPress website. So again, that all points to script kiddies, a website based in Bulgaria. So it's absentvodka.com and they wrote about a 5.ip address as well. So uh, is that there? Yes, it is. So that was the news that Linux Mint ISO file was attacked and compromised. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.